In this segment, we're going to learn how to record and label variables. So here we are back at SPSS. You know, we've already entered the ID. Now let's say the next question on our questionnaire was, what is your gender? Okay, if we coded it properly, we probably called it gender. Now keep in mind, when you're entering these variable names, they can only be with letters. You cannot start with a number and you cannot have a space. So let's say I tried to put a space on. It'll tell me my variable contains an illegal character. Now, let's go back to data view and you can see we've created the column gender. Let's say one was male and two was female. Okay, I would enter a one, one if those people were male and then a two if the rest were female. Now, a common mistake you'll make maybe is enter the data and you get carried away and you do an extra two. Now, how do you get rid of that? You just go up to it and hit the delete button. However, what you see here are little dots, which means SPSS is expecting data. So let's say I were to run, a, for example, a frequency on it. I would go analyze, descriptive stats, frequencies. We'll cover this in a later video. And let's say I want to run a frequency on gender and OK. See here it says system missing one. That's because of the dots on the bottom. So let's go back and get rid of them. So we switch back to our data window. And here you can see the dots are still there. I highlight row number nine and then I hit edit and clear. And they're gone. Now we'll learn about values and labels. Let's run a frequency again on gender. Analyze, descriptive stats, frequencies. Okay, gender is still there from before. I hit okay. And it's run a frequency on gender. Don't worry too much about this table. It just tells you how many values you have and what's missing. Here you can see we have a one and a two. One is for male and two is for female. Two of our subjects are male and six are female, or 25% and 75%. Now, we could teach the program what one and two are. We go back to our data input, go to variable view, and on values, we click on it. One, male, add two female add and we're more or less done I would just hit OK I want to show you a common error let's say there was a third other and we forgot to hit add if I hit OK it would tell me any pending add or change will be lost so I cancel and we get rid of that Also, let's say you've already done it and you found a mistake. Let's say this was incorrect. I would highlight it and hit remove. Because it's correct, I'll put it back to female, add, and OK. And you can see it's in there. Now, label is the title on top of our table. For now, it says gender. It'll say whatever the name is. Gender is a fairly easy word. I shouldn't be able to understand my table, no problem. But let's say I want to write more, like gender of respondent. Hit enter. Now, let's run the frequency again. I go to analyze, descriptive stats, frequencies on gender. Okay, here's our original. You can see SPSS appends all new output below. See now it says male, female instead of one and two. And it says gender of respondent on top versus gender. So generally we don't want to see codes in here, okay, or short names up here. Okay, you have the opportunity to put what the actual words are. That is important because you can cut and paste these tables into PowerPoint or into Word. So that concludes the segment. Please try this by yourself and then move on to the next segment. Thank you.